Oh. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Let's start off, we're in the very beginning of the month of February. We're going to be talking about Mary in this presentation we have. And we'll start by saying the prayer that she loves most, and that is the Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and bless the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary. Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Let's pray to the Holy Spirit as always, as we say. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end, amen. Our Lady of Fatima, St. Joseph, Father and Terry, all God's angels and saints, See, we have a statue here of a Lady Fatima, and she appeared to three little children, Jacinta, Francisco, and Lucia. John Paul II, in his talks on these three children, specifies that each of them had a, diff a different mission. Two of them are already canonized saints, and Lucia only died a few years ago. She actually lived a bit into her late 90s, the other children died very young. And uh, the mission of Jacinta was she was called to be a little victim soul, to offer up sacrifices to God in reparation for sin, but also for the conversion of poor sinners. That was her mission. And John Paul II in his beatification said, Jacinta was a little victim soul. What about Francisco? Different from most little children, he liked to go off by himself to meditate and think about God. Think about God. That was his constant thought, thinking about God and to console the hidden Jesus in the tabernacle. That was his mission. He died young. Now, as we mentioned, Sister Lucia would go on to become a Dorothean nun. Then she entered into the Carmelite convent in Coimbra, Portugal, where she stayed until the very end of her life. She lived into her late 90s, even close to 100 years of age. Her mission was a little bit different. The mission was to spread devotion in a special way to the, here you can see it, the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Here you can see a nice picture of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Get as close as possible. It's a nice picture. Now, so that was her mission. And Our Lady, through Lucia, gave us what is called the First Saturday Devotion. The you know, lady asked for, asked for um, several things to receive the promise of the First Saturday, which would be the grace is necessary to, to get to heaven. And that's important because we're really here right, to get to heaven. That's the purpose of our life is to make it safe home. Like a baseball player that's, that's sliding into home plate, safe, right? We want to we make it safe home, home to heaven. So what are those conditions that Mary asked of Sister Lucia and, and us also? First is uh, she wants us to go to confession. Why is it important to go to confession? The reason is that uh, God and Mary, they don't want us to live in sin. They want us to eliminate the, the worst thing from our life is sin and living in sin. How many people live in sin and they don't even think about the prospect of death and the eternal situation of the salvation of their soul? They're oblivious to what's most important. So go to confession. Make a good one. Prepare yourself well. Repent. Make a firm purpose of amendment. The best confession, confession in your life. 
Next would be to go to Mass and to receive Holy Communion. See what Our Lady is doing? She's the Mother of God, the Mother of the Church, and our Mother. Mary's always trying to lead us and direct us to Christ through His Church. The Church is the mystical body of Christ. But not simply to go to Mass, but to receive Communion in Mass. It's not enough just to go to Mass. We don't want to be bench warmers. We want to be participating in Mass and receive Holy Communion. So that's the next. Now, with that also, to make a communion of reparation, which would be to make a communion of reparation for the sins against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So you receive communion, there has to be the right intention. You can offer your communion for many, many things, but for the first Saturday in reparation for the sins against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And then two other things. And that would be to meditate uh, upon, to meditate upon the mysteries of the rosary or a mystery of the rosary uh, for about 15 minutes. So that means reading and meditating. It could be, it could be any mystery or some mysteries. But then also another important condition is to pray at least five decades of the rosary. So Mary wants, Mary wants us to meditate with her mind. And I think one of the reasons why is because you can say the mystery of the rosary and it can become very mechanical. You're not really thinking about what the mysteries are. So if we do that, Mary promises, this is her promise. She says she obtained for us at the hour of death the graces necessary for salvation. That's very important. We're dying, Mary will help us to be able to give ourselves to God. So today is the first Friday of the month dedicated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, which you can see on the wall. And tomorrow would be the first Saturday dedicated to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So I hope and I pray that all of you will take advantage of this opportunity that God gives to us through Mary and Mary, so that the moment that you die, Mary will be present to you so that you can give your heart, your mind, your soul into the hands of Christ. Amen.